The question of who killed the princes in the tower is one of Britain's most infamous historical mysteries. Edward V and his brother, Richard of Shrewsbury, Duke of York, were imprisoned in the Tower of London by their uncle, Richard III, in 1483, after the death of their father, Edward IV. At first, supposedly to prepare for Edward V's coronation, until an act of parliament declared them illegitimate and Richard took the throne for himself. Some historical sources suggest it was James Tyrrell, a knight who confessed to the crime in 1502. He was knighted by Edward IV, Richard III's brother and predecessor, after the Battle of Tewkesbury in 1471 and subsequently served Richard III. He was abroad during the Battle of Bosworth when Richard III lost his throne to Henry VII in 1485, although he was pardoned by Henry VII on his return to England. However, he confessed to the murders under torture. He was charged with treason in 1501 when he was involved with a plot to place Richard III's nephew on the throne. Whether it was Tyrell or if he was a convenient scapegoat, someone ordered the prince's deaths. There are three main suspects, Richard III, Henry Stafford, the Duke of Buckingham, and Henry VII. No historian considers the possibility that any of these three killed them personally. Richard III had the biggest motive for killing the princes. They were the only people preventing him from taking the throne, and as king, he certainly had access to them. He never counted the rumours of their death by having them appear publicly. And James Tyrell's confession pointed to Richard as a person who asked him to kill the princes. However, all evidence against Richard III is circumstantial. If Buckingham had killed the princes, there was no way of Richard to prove it without implicating himself. In addition, he also never publicly declared that the princes were dead, unlike when Henry VI was paraded through London so that no pretenders could pass themselves off as him. Henry Stafford, the Duke of Buckingham, was Richard III's right-hand man. On both his father and mother's side, he was a descendant of Edward III's son, John of Gaunt, making him a Lancastrian heir to the throne. He rebelled against Richard III in 1483, being defeated and executed. As Lord Constable of England, he had access to the Tower of London and is the only person other than Richard to be named in a contemporary chronicle, supposedly starving the princes to death. During Richard's absence from London, Buckingham was effectively in charge and he argued with Richard on his return. However, his guilt relies on the princes already being dead before his own execution in 1483, and Buckingham was never blamed by Richard at the time for their death. However, this is possibly because no one would have believed that he could have had nothing to do with it. The final suspect is King Henry VII. He took the throne from Richard III after defeating him at the Battle of Bosworth in 1485. Henry VII was the son of Margaret Beaufort, a descendant of Edward III through his son, John of Gaunt. He was thus an heir to the House of Lancaster. Henry had to repeal the Act of Parliament that made children of Edward IV illegitimate so that his wife, Elizabeth of York, the oldest child of Edward IV, would be legitimised. He had a strong motive for getting rid of any claimants to the throne and he even pardoned James Tyrell in 1486. His guilt relies on the princes surviving until 1485-6 and the innocence of the other suspects, which is very hard to prove. He was also never accused in any contemporary chronicle of the murders. There is always the possibility that they lived much longer than anybody thought. One theory states that the fact Henry VII didn't speak openly about their deaths was due to the fact at least one of them survived. It was certainly in his interest that the country would think them dead. Two people actually claimed to be Richard Duke of York to try and rebel against Henry VII. Both Lambert Simnel and Perkin Warbeck's rebellions were quelled. The fact that neither claimed to be Edward V is used by some as a sign that Richard indeed survived. As for our three suspects, all three had motive, all three benefited from the murders of the princes, all three had access to the princes at different points in time, but we may never know which one of them truly ordered their execution.